Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and this next week we are painting a honeybee. So tune in on Tuesday night, 7.15 Central Standard Time, but for now here's a preview. So I'm starting off with the outline of my bee and I'm going in and I'm starting to put the black sections part on the um, end of the bee here. Now I'm leaving the middle section white as I'm going through this for most of these because I'm going to blend those together and highlight those because those will be a glare. Then I'm going to go in and start filling in kind of the yellows and if your black is still pretty wet then you might want to wait um, to fill the rest of those in. And for our hair textures we kind of want to start off dark at the top and then we do um, kind of dashes, thin, thinner lines that kind of go out. And I'm really just going back and forth here because I'm working with wet um, items here. So you see it started to bleed a little bit right there. So I'm going back and forth on this because I don't want it too wet as I, as I work on it. Now for my wing, I'm just going to start with the dark brown edge on the top. And then I just take water and blend that out. Now we want it to be a really, really soft wash. So make sure it's nice and light. Then I'm going to go in and fill in the center of my bee on the body here. It's a, it's a darker brown. And when I do the yellow section on the tail of the bee, I'm going to do the same thing where I lighten the center so it creates kind of a highlight on that bee. And then this section right here near the middle of the body is also kind of a little bit more furry, so I'm not going to fill that in plain. I'm just going to do those fur textures that we've been doing. And for the legs that I'm doing here, those ones you pretty much just fill in. Now you can use, I think I used a dark brown on this, so I mix probably the golden brown and the black, but you can use just black if you want to. And then when we go back in on the furry part on the body, we're going to do darker hair textures going throughout and then blend that out. Now we're doing the, the middle legs here. Now half of it is underneath the wing. So the part that's underneath the wing, we're going to do a very light wash on and then that way it's going to look like um, there is a transparent wing over that body just with that value differ differentiation right there. I'm kind of going in, filling back in um, the body and then I'm now doing the, the upper arms, the eyeballs right here. Now I've been using a two on the detail work, but if you have a round four or round six, that's what I've been mainly doing for the body and spreading out the wings. But when I do like the eyeballs and the antennas, I mainly stick with a two because it's smaller, it has a nice little point on there. And now I'm gonna start doing my detail work on the wings. Now I'm using my two here for this because it's a nice point. If you have a liner, that might be um, a good thing to use for that too. Um, if you don't have a liner, then you can use your other brushes, but just make sure that your pressure is very soft and that way you get a very nice line. I also have to kind of move um, my paper around so I can get that other wing, wing going. So don't be afraid to move your paper around, whatever is more comfortable for you. Then I'm going to go and start filling in the eyes, kind of start doing the more detail work. Now with the eyes, remember to leave some white spots because we want that glare and that's it. 